Hey everyone and welcome to another TWM 12 video on World of Warships. This one's going to be about the final version of, you know it, the Graf Zeppelin after many, many years, well, many months of testing, which is like pain in the ass. And it's the final version finally, with the new sexy, very German, well, very German sized skin. Let's see. Who will be my first victim of my of my ten flame dive bomber squadron with armor piercing bombs? Wonder what will be the first target. Oh, let's see. Hmm. I think Leon or Queen Elizabeth would be a nice first target. Hmm. Yeah, there's a guy. Yeah, that is true. The Graf Zeppelins do slaughter most carriers. The Enterprise fights it pretty well, to be honest with you. And so does Shokaku, but Lexington doesn't stand a chance against it. The Lexington just gets overwhelmed by the nine plane squadrons. It really does. And that's what my luck is going to be. Hopefully Shok I'm going to end up getting swarmed by Shokaku here. Hopefully I don't. Hoping I can get away with this, actually. Hmm. Akasuki's over there, so he's, their planes are centralized. Hmm. I want to know which way he's coming. I know there's a Cleveland over there. And a Maha. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes, come on. Maybe it's Leon up here by itself. Oh, there's a Minsk. Let's go for this Leon. It's by itself here, it seems. Oh! First, drop your not drop your torpedoes in that angle. It's gonna turn into them ones. Um, that squadron's back. Bye, bye, Leon. There we go. One, two, three. Down we go. Fifty, fifty-four thousand nine hundred. Devi well, it would be a devastating strike. I see that Minsk. He's gonna try and come and carry or snipe me, but he's got a rook awakening when it comes to my secondaries. Uh, Strukus and Falcon and Wolf F 190s, to be exact. To my knowledge, you have Falcon and Wolf F 190s and Stuka dive bombers. Strukas. It's a real shame that dive bombers don't make the wee whistling noise. Sorry, yeah, but no, it's, yeah, it's a, sorry, Falcon and Wolves. Can't remember off the top. It's either BF 109s or Falcon and Wolves. I can't remember off the top of my head. It's one of the two. Let's see, next battleship. What one do I go for? Let's see. I'm going to go pick a fight with this Minsk after this here, so. I'm gonna go over and well, kill this cruiser or battleship, whatever is over here, or whatever is the easiest for me to get to.
There we go. Eli's turn into that one. Same situation again, actually. Turning into all my torpedoes. Poor guy. Per per person. <laughs> this is why I love the Graf Zeppelin. I'm I'm out of playing I'm out of fighters. That's not good. Queen Elizabeth, you're my next target. <laughs> that ain't that really isn't good. Hmm. No, these are over here, so it's gonna be a risky as hell fucking move to try and take this down. But it's gonna it's gonna be a necessary evil that I've got to try and take it down. Just around the fucking spray of torpedoes. Yes, got it. Start eating my secondaries, a boy. Hey, <laughs> look at them secondary hits going off on that, a boy. <laughs> Come on. 112. Try to swing her up this direction. Get my fighters up. As you can see, the Graf Zeppelin is final testing version is our, is really fucking good. It is really powerful. It really is an outstanding ship now. It really it's it's a fair it's an outstanding carrier. I haven't I don't have a bad word to actually say about the Graf Zeppelin now. I used to despise it, I used to hate it, I used to give it the biggest, highest amount of abuse. I used to call it everything under the sun. I used to absolutely despise this ship. But, 120,000 damage. Three kills. And I'm beginning to get secondary hits now. It's pretty, it's pretty good. I know roughly where the war spite is. Come on, let's see. Hmm. Oh look, there's torpedo bombers. I found your torpedo bombers. Come on, let's see, where is your Queen Elizabeth? I know it's around this way. Come on. Looks like I'm getting a crack in this match. Come on. A <laughs> double strike, crack and unleashed. <laughs> Whoop. A <laughs> double strike, crack and unleashed. Can't complain.
<laughs> yep. Lol, <laughs> he thinks I'm wargaming. <laughs> yeah, I've got Kraken. Let's see, who should I go after next? I think Turpids, if I can get my fight if I can get my planes redone in time. Come on, get my come on planes, get back up in time. Come on, you know you want to. Come on, Torpedo Bomber. Go all my planes up. Come on, go for the sixth kill. You know you want it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Full speed ahead. Come on. Come on. You know you want it. Come on. You know you want to get up here. Come on, bombers. Do your job. Fly, fly, fly. Fly my stookies. Shouldn't really be saying this, but show me what the blitz was made of. Well, show the turpas what the blitz was like. Bomb loading shit out of them. Come on. Yes, come on. Nearly there. Yes. Yes, high caliber, six kills. Yes, come on. Now that's what I'm calling about a re, uh, re, a finalized premium carrier. It's like the Enterprise at the start, overpowered, broken, useless, decent, not overpowered as hell. Three hundred eighty-eight thousand, not bad. One hundred fifty-four thousand damage. Thirteen torpedo hits, eighteen dive bombing hits, seventeen shoot downs, six kills, one devastating strike. Double strike, Kraken, and high caliber. And top of the team in a carrier. Holy shit. So, yeah, you can easily get top of the team very much. So, one of these car in the Graf Zeppelin is outstandingly good. Now, time to talk about the Graf Zeppelin a wee bit. And huh, so we can, well, so I can tell you about new spec changes and show you it. Okay. So, as changed on the Graf Zeppelin for the modules, you now have two flight mods. One with one, two, one, and one with two and three. Three dive bombers, two fighters. The three dive bomber squadrons slightly change the aircraft loadout a bit. They get six planes per squadron, with six planes in the fighter squadron and six planes in each of the bomber squadrons, with 15 seconds on the dive bombers and 25 seconds on the fighters to get ready. Now, as you can see, going with mod one, it gives you 66 instead of 56. But it comes with one fighter squadron, it takes 37 seconds, but it's got 9 planes. Two torpedo bombers with 5 planes at 13 seconds, and 25 seconds on the dive bomber squadron. Now you've got the choice between deep water and regular torpedoes. I personally use regular, because of this fact, it's not, they're good. I can use them to take out destroyers if need be. So you got the choice, that's what I went with. And you can do flooding damage. You, can al you also have HE bombers and AP bombers. I personally went with the... JUD7C with AP bombs. So it's not too bad at all, actually. The Junkers stuck a JU87s. Very nice plane. Well, the Junkers was the carrier variant off the Stuka. They're the same plane, pretty much. Just ones was able to take off from a carrier using the catapult system, as you can see in the front. Now, you got the BF109s, which are not half bad. I was right, was B the guy was right, was, was BF109s. The next impressive thing about this here is the secondary armament. It's a secondary carrier build, really. Pinpoint accurate secondaries, 9.4 km range, and you just make destroyers crap themselves. You've got 10% fire chance on your 150s and 7% on your 105s. So you're hell for setting fires on both destroyers and cruisers and battleships if they get close to you. So you've got more than enough intimidation and you've got a, a very strong strike package. So if someone does get that close to you, you can focus them down very quickly. The AA is mediocre, but as you can see, you get hydroacoustics and defensive fire. So DDs, they're not an issue. You can search for them and defend yourself against them easily enough if they smoke up and try and hide. 
Your defensive A does give you decent protection, but it's only a temporary bubble of, well, temporary bubble against anything really. You only have 66 base rate, well 66 rate when it's maxed out, so it's not impressive in any aspect. It's average. Maneuverability is not bad, 13 seconds. It's turning circle is massive. It's got a nice rudder, it's got a nice rudder shift speed, and it's got a decent speed. It's concealment is not bad, 14 kilometers by sea, 12.4 by air, not too bad. It's survivability, it's got up to 100 mil of armor in areas. 18% torpedo reduction on its belt and 52,000 hit points. Now, the ne what makes this carrier look good? To be fair, this this new skin, this carrier looks it just looks amazing. Like look at that there. Like any country would be proud to have that painted on their ship. It just looks bloody. It just looks outstanding. It's probably it's just a perfect skin though. And saying that, there, I would like to see a bit more realism, like the SWAT, like a swastika, but you can't do that for, well politically correct reasons but anyways this is the final version of the graph set will now hopefully go on sale again and hopefully everyone will actually like it this time it's actually a pretty decent ship now and it's really easy to average 100 to 150k on average a game with it and do all roles quite efficient efficiently between supporting with carrier supporting with carrier cover with your fighters to give the whole team protection depending on what loadout you go or you can concentrate on protecting a certain area and going on the offensive you can, as you can see i actually pushed up quite far into the enemy enemy spawn rate well side and a carrier thankfully i can do that in the grass zeppelin because my concealment and my secondary so i wear well i can scare off dds that want the sneaky sniping kill at the same time as well i can intimidate cruisers because i can focus them down anyways under the captain now for what skills I went for. I went with preventive maintenance and dogfighting expert because your fighters are tier 7 so it gives them extra edge for the tier. Adrenaline rush pretty much increases your fighter well if you do end up getting quite badly mauled it'll help your fighters get refitted quite quick a lot quicker essentially and increase your secondary firing speed so you do have a bit of a bigger chance of surviving. Demolitions expert, advanced firing training, air supremacy, and manual fire control. That's why I went personally to get the most out of the Graf Zeppelin, and it's working perfectly fine, as you saw that time, with me getting between devastating strike, cracking unleashed, high caliber, double strike, five award, four or five awards actually that match. So it was outstanding. Anyways. Hope you enjoyed this here preview of the finalized version of the Graf Zeppelin with 150k average damage per game. It is outstanding. I would recommend it if it went back on sale now if they keep it this way. Hopefully they do and they don't decide to debuff it again and mess it up. And then we'll have another 6 months of bloody testing before we actually get her back again. Anyways, hope you like it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching and please like and subscribe.